During this learning session, we will explore the enhancements made to the OLAP Manager in Sage Enterprise Intelligence Version 8. Could you tell me more about the enhancements with the OLAP Manager in Sage Enterprise Intelligence Version 8? Yes, Ben. We'll look at the new enhancements with the OLAP Manager. But first, let me briefly explain the purpose of the OLAP Manager in SCI. The OLAP Manager is a very powerful addition used to create and manage cubes, which are multi-dimensional views of data. This tool allows you to populate tables through the use of stored procedures and templates. Using the OLAP Manager is intended for technical administrators, database administrators, and advanced SEI users. A working knowledge of SQL Server, writing SQL scripts, and databases is needed to create new cubes using the OLAP Manager. Now that's good to know. I'm looking forward to learning more about these enhancements. With SCI version 8, new enhancements with the OLAP Manager include it is now fully web-based with enhanced navigation, and the expandable button panel allows you to easily create, build, load, and refresh multiple cubes in a single action. In this demonstration, we'll look at some of the new enhancements to the OLAP Manager in SCI, including a new web-based interface, ability to perform common tasks from the new expandable button panel, such as creating and building cubes and scheduling jobs against cubes. From the main SCI window, let's click Administration in the header bar. Next, we'll click OLAP Manager. The OLAP Manager appears with all the defined cubes available. The new expandable button panel to the right allows you to create a cube, manage cubes, and refresh cubes. Let's practice creating a new cube. You can copy a cube by selecting an existing cube and clicking the Action button and then Copy Cube. Now, let's build the cube that we just created by selecting Actions and then Build Cube. In the Environment Selection window, select the Production Environment and click Confirm. We receive a message that says building the entire structure of the cube may cause the currently loaded data to be lost. We'll select the checkbox and click Yes to this message. Notice that today's date is now displayed in the Last Build Structure Date column for the cube indicating that the cube has been built. It is also possible to apply actions to several cubes at one time. To do this, click the Manage button and then select the check boxes next to the applicable cubes. Build, Load All, or Refresh in our example, we will refresh all the selected cubes. At the Environment drop-down, we will choose the production environment. You can also schedule jobs to run against the cubes. To do this, highlight the cube that you want to run the job against. Click the Navigation button and then click Scheduler in the Expandable button panel. A quick way to go back to the cube list is to click the cube name and the breadcrumb trail. Now you have learned about some of the new enhancements to the OLAP Manager in Sage Enterprise Intelligence version 8. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit the Sage University website.